Right, guys, big day today. This is my R8 V10 Plus, which I picked up uh, not even a week ago, basically. But this car today is not the center of attention. It's actually already in my car park gotten a little bit dusty. Today, the center of attention is what you saw yesterday. This, the Gianarelli Design 1, which I'm going to have for the next couple of months. Massive thank you to the Gianarelli, of course, for the loan car. I did a full video yesterday on the spec when the car got delivered, it was then driven straight down into the car park and we're only gonna drive it today for the first time. Now, I've actually driven one of these on my French channel before and loved it. This is gonna be the first time we drive it in English. That was several months ago. It was a completely different spec, completely different car. This is the one that is going to be mine for the next couple of months. So, it feels so surreal. If you want to see a full tour of the spec and you want more info on the car, check yesterday's video. The link will be in the description or I'm sure it will be popping up on the screen right now. I'm going to hop in and I just want to get started with this. This is going to be pretty bloody special. I cannot believe it. Right, now the starter button, fighter jet style, right here. So clutch in, whack that up and then you just press and hold. Sounds pretty cool. Right, first drive, boys, off we go. This thing is a race car, a proper race car. We just, as I did with the R8, wanted the first couple of miles to be uh, off camera because it's such an intimidating beast. I didn't want to be focusing on too many things. It's not my car either. But we've now hopped onto the motorway because we want to race the sun to get to the countryside to properly experience this car and be able to film it for you guys. New car, you need to go experience it, but it is so loud in here. The road noise, I can't even tell you how hardcore this car feels. It's a proper race car. Listen to this. It's an absolute animal. It's quite compact in here. And driving this on the motorway is so rogue. It's such a niche feeling. It is, it's crazy, isn't it? Everyone around you looking at you like, why are there two children driving a retro race car on the A3? What is going on? Anyways, we're gonna try and race the sun, try and make it to some B-roads in time to film it for you guys without it being too dark, because that's where this car will come into its own. No power steering, manual gearbox, and 800 kilos, guys. What an animal. have your wits about you in this thing. Front splitter is very low and carbon. Oh my God! It is... What an animal, I can feel it. Already trying to brake traction at the back, 800 kilos, rear wheel drive. You really, really need to have your wits about you. This is back to what driving is all about. Manual gearbox, it doesn't even have any ABS. So if you brake too hard, you can see that you also feel every single bump that comes by. If you brake too hard, you're locking up the brakes. And that, on a damp country road like we've got today, is not a good situation to be in. Having the manual, now being able to have access to two cars, the R8 that I've just taken delivery of, and now this, which of course is not mine, but we can drive whenever we like over the next few months. Having two manuals really warms my heart because it's what it's all about. It's so much more engaging. 
The lack of power steering on this car means I literally feel like I've got a direct line to those front tires. I can feel everything that's going on. The grip is unbelievable. Oh, the brakes as well. I mean, you need to be careful not to lock up, but boy, do they work. This little fat steering wheel, no bullshit in front of you. You've got no buttons on this steering wheel. You've just got your info, and that's it. That's all you need. I feel like I'm strapped to the window in front of me. It's so close. It's so cramped in here, but oh my god. What an experience. I've driven a couple of cars on these exact roads now, and I can tell you that nothing has ever given me the adrenaline and the feeling this car does. This is next level. And I feel unbelievably fortunate to be able to experience this, just experience it once even, but experience it more than once and have access to this car. Oh, thank you guys, because it would not be, it would just not be possible without you. And we want to do lots of different things with this car. I want, that's the Bluetooth, it has got Bluetooth. If you hear a little noise here and there. Um, I want to go to McDonald's with it. I want to drive it around central London. I want to do a little bit of a long drive. You know, many, many different things with the car. Generally Design 1. It's new. Whoa, you have to avoid the potholes. It's a new concept. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. This one is the first one in the UK. And, oh, I really hope we see more of these on the road. It is definitely a toy. It's for someone who's got a real passion for driving and someone who's also got a supercar and other things most often. And they just want something extra that will really sort of bring the kid out of them on the country lanes. I mean, that's if you can see where you're going because there's no sun visor. I have not a clue. Okay, here we go. It is crazy. And the grip, it just literally makes you want to just grab it by the neck and just thrash it, this car. I love it. Mate, how surreal is this? Incredible. I can't believe it. Even as a passenger. Two new car collections in the space of a week. Unreal. It's actually a really nice short throw gearbox as well. Oh, it pulls, doesn't it? It pulls, and do you feel the rear? Yeah. Looking for traction. Whoa. The noise. There is no sound in there. None. So you're literally strapped to the to the car. These seats are so thin and with the harness, I literally, I just feel like I'm strapped to the engine. Wow. I think I need to hop out to decompress. Too much adrenaline right now. Right, when you stopped, look at this jet fighter styled start button. All you do is you just Put that down and you're done. Whoa. Had to take my harness off to see where I was reversing. Pull this to the side, lift the full carbon fiber roof. So that's, you have to do that. So you need to make sure you've got enough space above you. You can't be in a really low car park. Then you pull this little leather strap there and somehow you then pull yourself out. I am not a big bloke. Um, oh, I am very small and quite thin. So, yeah, let's just say it's not that easy to get out of. Boy, it's beautiful though. It's gotten dark. We attempted to get some drone shots, but it didn't go so well for us. What are you talking about? You had no idea what you were doing. 
I, I am an expert, okay? Absolutely not. Sports. How about sports? Oh! <laughs> no! Oh, shit! No! Oh, dude! <laughs> anyway. Uh, we did that, we did Instagram, we did thumbnail, we did all that jazz and also just took a little bit of time to look at this car because it is so beautiful. But this is how we're going to be using it, daytime, nighttime, city driving, country driving. I literally want to use this car in all the different situations, it's such a new product. I think we really need to explore it in the best ways we can and we're in the lucky position where we're going to be able to do just that. Now we also got into the car and it got really cold, so we've been exploring the heating feature which is fairly rogue as well. So it's basically under the dash here. Yeah, I'm sure once you get used to it, um, it would be okay, but for now it's tricky because you just have to reach under and there's like two little knobs that you need to try and adjust to be able to get the heat. Now, I think it's just gonna blast us to loads of really warm heat all of a sudden. There's also the Bluetooth, but we haven't been confident enough to explore there yet, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. Um, but what an incredible experience. I can't believe we've got two new cars on the channel now. Um, it, it really feels so surreal. I'm so excited. New garage. This car's gonna be staying for a while as well, so we're gonna be able to do lots of videos with it and just really enjoy it. So I hope you're as excited as we are to have this car as well as the RH. It should be, sorry, I'm just navigating at the same time. Should be some good content on the way soon. It's ended on a high note. I mean, that will wake you up if you're feeling sleepy. Um, oh, God, you feel the bumps, don't you? But yeah, awesome car. Can't wait to experience it more. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support on this English channel. You guys who are still watching now, a lot of you have been there since day one. So thank you so, so, so much. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited. And it feels surreal. I can't believe it. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. And there will be loads coming in the very, very near future. Cheers guys, comment anything you'd want to see down below with this car and we'll be reporting back soon. Take care, bye bye.